hungry. Finally, some food. Why is there only milk? Don't be so picky. Attention all body parts. We're about to undergo full anesthesia. Everyone, get ready. Why now? I haven't even had a sip yet. If you're not drinking it, I'm heading to the intestine. For surgery, but you just had to. You almost died before we even started the operation. Yes, before surgery, we tell you not to eat for hours. But it's not to be mean, it's to keep you safe. When you have a general anesthetic or certain spinal or epidural blocks, your body's protective reflexes, like coughing or swallowing, are reduced. And if your stomach still has some food or liquid in it, then there is a risk that it can come back up and enter your lungs. Hurry up and open the door! Hey, why'd you pass out all of a sudden? Whatever, I'll just go back the way I came. This way is blocked too. Fine, I'll just stay in the stomach. Wait, which path did I take earlier? Guess I'll go this way. Mm, I'm I this is called aspiration, and it can cause severe chemical pneumonia or even death. That's why guidelines recommend fasting before surgery, no solid food for six hours, and clear fluids up to two hours before an anesthetic. Now these rules apply for planned cesareans and many gynecological surgeries as well. And even if you think, oh, it's just a biscuit or maybe just a cup of tea with milk, it can delay that gastric emptying. So when we say don't eat before surgery, it's not a power trip for the doctors. It's literally a way of protecting your lungs. So did you know this already? 